Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're gonna to talk about using ultraviolet light to disinfect your stuff. Let's get into it. All right, so as many of you know, things are getting pretty bad out there. The situation's getting pretty grim. We're getting the National Guard coming in and here in Canada, it's like crickets. People are just waiting for the bubble to burst, but eventually it will. And sure enough, I'll be ready. Can't say the same about my countrymen, but hey, they've been thoroughly warned. What I wanna talk about today is using ultraviolet light to disinfect your stuff. Now, there are some health risks to using UV light for anything, but this actually is a common practice in hospitals and uh, it's a common method used to disinfect water and to actually disinfect surfaces and stuff like that. So UVGI or ultraviolet germicidal radiation is a disinfection method that essentially destroys the DNA of microorganisms. In the case of viruses, it will totally inactivate them with long enough exposure. Now the problem with using UVC light is that it is carcinogenic. It can cause sunburn and possibly cause skin cancer with prolonged exposure. And it is potentially harmful to your eyes. However, there are technologies on the market like the one I'm gonna to show today that actually mitigate this problem and make it so that you can leverage the benefits of UVC light without ever having to be exposed to it. Now, unlike ultraviolet light that's below the 200 nanometer spectrum, UVC light used for germicidal purposes doesn't produce ozone. This is important because that can have potential negative health impacts and cause respiratory issues. UVC light can kill up to 99.99% of germs with prolonged exposure. Typically about 10 minutes or more of UV saturation is enough to pretty much kill anything on there. So just remember that not all UV light will actually be germicidal. Longer wavelength UV lights like UVA and UVB are not germicidal and cannot be used for this purpose. So make sure if you do get a UV light that it's UVC and it's rated to be germicidal. So I'm just going to read this off the website. Dangers of UV light exposure for human beings. Skin exposure to germicidal wavelengths of UV light can produce rapid sunburn and skin cancer. Exposure to the eyes of this UV radiation can produce extremely painful inflammation of the cornea and temporary or permanent vision impairment up to and including blindness in some cases. So using UV light is no joke. So I would exercise extreme caution when using this for disinfecting anything. Now you can do your own makeshift UV box to disinfect your stuff in. This is a box I'm gonna talk about today which comes pre-made because quite frankly, I don't have the time. All I've been doing right now is getting people's orders out as soon as possible. I'm damn near sold out of food. I'm damn near sold out of gas masks. It's looking pretty grim, guys. If you don't have your supplies by now, well, you know, there is uh, some suppliers that are still active. I'll post links in the description, but now we're kind of in that phase of, okay, how do we keep ourselves from catching this? And how do we keep our space clean and sanitary? So this is a UV light box and things like this are still actually available, but uh, there's many ways to do this, okay? You can use chemicals, you can use Clorox wipes, you can use bleach, you can use calcium hypochlorite, which you use to make bleach. It's also known as pool shock. I've talked about it a lot on the channel before. But that's uh, probably one of the best investments you should have made. I don't know if there's any left in the stores. You can go and check it out. But this is called the Phone Soap Light Box. And what it is, essentially, it's a UV light box. So how it works is very simple. It's probably the simplest product I've ever bought. And no, I'm not endorsed by this company or sponsored. Now, the great thing about this one is you never have to come in contact with the ultraviolet light. You open this door. You put your stuff in there, and when you shut the door, the light's gonna go on, just like that. Oh, touch the power button. There we go. So that means that it's on inside the box. Now I've used my GoPro camera to show you what it looks like inside there, and no, the UV light's not gonna come through your screen, don't worry. Typically this is made for phones, tablets, your sunglasses, your keys, your knife, your wallet. Things that you would touch a lot throughout the day 
and contain a lot of germs. They've done studies to show that there's countless bacteria of all shapes and sizes that are lingering on your phone even after you wipe your phone down. So that's the reason why UV light is so effective is because even if you were to go into a room and disinfect it with chemicals, there's gonna be spots that you miss. But exposure to uh, UVC light in the 200 to 300 nanometer spectrum is going to damage the DNA of bacteria and viruses. Now the current virus that has everybody freaking out and buying far more toilet paper than they have food to wipe away, that one hasn't been tested with UV light yet, but 99% of viruses are inactivated by ultraviolet light. So we can assume that it probably is too. They've done studies with H1N1 and it shows that exposure, I believe over 10 minutes of UV light is enough to basically, you know, obliterate any uh, viruses that linger there. I'm assuming that this virus is no different. Now, there is a broad spectrum of UVC light from 200 to 400 nanometers. So they say that the sweet spot is somewhere between two and 300. This is 250. So this is definitely gonna kill bacteria. It's gonna destroy the DNA and it's gonna kill viruses as well. And this is a really simple technology. I was surprised when this came because it was just a box and an adapter, very few directions. So how it works is you just, like I said, you take your N95 mask or something that you want to disinfect. And this is where the concept gets really, really practical because N95 masks and even filters like the P3 particle max filter, these technically could be reused if they were sanitized. The problem is, is when you do that, if you're gonna spray chemicals on it, you're gonna do damage to the, the fibers, to the filter itself, which is going to affect, you know, the effectiveness of the filter. And the same thing holds true with this, in that there may still be viruses alive on the inside, you will be able to decontaminate the outside. So for something like this, I would say, you know, cook it in the microwave a little bit here and you're good to go. Give it a 15 minute wash. And once that light turns off, that's when you know that it's done. Now you can put a variety of things in here because this phone soap is actually 360 degrees of uh, UV light. So there's a UV light bar on the top and there's a UV light bar on the bottom. And on the sides, it's a reflective paint. So it makes sure you get that 360 wash. So if you, the problem is if you only have UV light coming from the top, the bacteria, it's not an X-ray. So if you put this in there, it's not gonna get the bottom. So if you do decide to do a DIY UV light box, bear that in mind that you're gonna want that 360 coverage. Now I would like to see this idea scaled up so that you could disinfect your personal protective equipment you could even consider making a closet or a room or something like that that you could hang your personal protective equipment in. But this would have to be a decontamination room because the problem with doing this is that you would have to bring something which is potentially contaminated into your space. So let's say you wore a mask around the city for the day and of course there would be a risk that the mask was contaminated well you'd want to take that mask off before you entered your home because you don't want to bring whatever is on the outside of the mask into your home so if you were going to implement a strategy like this you'd have to make sure that this was some place which was out of your living space and in addition to that if you were going to decontaminate a p3 particle max uh, the problem with that is that I wouldn't reuse these for a couple weeks anyways. I would use the Mira Particle Max filter for longer durations because these can be pretty expensive. They offer the best protection possible, like 99.99999. At the same time, they're expensive. I don't wanna just use this for an hour and throw it away. To me, that seems like kind of a waste, especially seeing as these things can last for 20 years these HEPA filters. Actually, this is a OPA filter, which is a step above a HEPA filter. What I would do, this is just what I would do. This is not advice. I would leave this in a safe place for a couple weeks, long enough that whatever was on it 
died. And then I would put it back into the rotation. As we know that most viruses can only live on surfaces for up to nine days. So you leave it at least for two weeks, it should be okay. Now I was a little disappointed that my Mira safety mask wouldn't fit in here. These Mira masks actually have a fairly flat form. They're actually not a big clunky gas mask. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit too wide to stick in here, but I think if they could expand this concept to make a larger UV light box for disinfecting larger things like even clothes, I think that'd be a great idea. Now, you can use the sun to disinfect things all the same, but it will take a bit longer because it's not as concentrated as this. Now, if you're wondering if this actually works, uh, they've done demonstrations where they swab the phone and then they put it in the phone soap for a while and it's, com it's completely killed everything on the phone. You know, I would encourage you to shop around. You can buy ultraviolet wands. You can buy the uh, bulbs which screw into your light socket. You can buy lamps, but just be warned, you gotta be careful with those. Now, like I said, hospitals do use this technology. They have this little R2-D2 looking robot. Uh, not at all hospitals, but at some of the more advanced ones or progressive ones, technologically speaking. They have this little machine that they go around and they put it in the patient's rooms after the patient's gone. And they put a warning sign on the door saying, don't come into the room because we're using UV light to disinfect this room. And they leave that machine on for half an hour and it gets in all the nooks and crannies that might have been missed by the chemicals. And it also, of course, gets what's in the air. That's important too, is that it can be challenging to uh, purify the air. I mean, you can spray Lysol if you want, but you know, once again, chemicals are not as sure of a thing as UV light. Now, right now I'm powering this with the Jackery. Jackery sent me this uh, 1000 version. You guys remember I went on a date with Jackie there a few months ago. Probably 100,000 people don't recall that because you weren't subscribed then. But I also do gear reviews on the channel. It's basically, this is a portable power source, which is powered by solar, or you can power it by the wall also. Now for the price point, this isn't the best system on the market. There is the EcoFlow Delta, which the specifications are a bit better. It's gonna charge faster has better output power. But what I like about this Jackery is just the durability of it. It's one of those units which, you know, it's not as powerful as the Apex or the uh, Delta EcoFlow, but it's got a lot of cool features. It's incredibly plug and play, really user friendly for the average weekend warrior or family who's maybe just getting started with emergency preparedness. But you got your three AC outputs, you have your USB outputs, you have a USB-C, you have a quick charge 3.0, which I like, and you also have your uh, DC output uh, inputs for solar and AC. And there's a nice readout here which shows you how many watts you're putting out and how many you're taking in. But what I really like about it is the durability, especially this handle. Like this thing is 25 pounds, mind you, but you can actually hold it by the handle. So this is something I would be very confident to take out to the wilderness, even more so than the Energy Apex, I think. Even though the Apex has an aluminum housing, but this is really strong. So, you know, um, there's so many different power banks on the market today. Tendency is gonna be to wanna get the absolute best but the reality is a lot of them are gonna be sufficient for your needs and they're all competitively priced. And the technology is advancing so fast, it's like computers now. You know, you don't wanna buy a computer because you're worried it's gonna double in the next two years. You just gotta bite the bullet at some point. The reason why I bring this here is because with the coming quarantines, we're gonna have a disruption of services. It's gonna be a scary experience for a lot of people who are trapped in their homes against their will without all of the things that they're used to, all of the luxuries they're used to, all of the food and the services potentially. We may see disruptions in telecommunications, emergency services, um, water even, heat, all of your utilities, things of that nature. Anyways guys, uh, UV light will kill viruses. So if you run out of chemicals, and you wanna disinfect stuff, if you're running out of N95 masks, 
or you're wanting to disinfect your personal protective equipment, your more advanced personal protective equipment, then, you know, use UV light. I have all these filters here because it's a good way of decontaminating the exterior of it. But again, because there is a potential that you might be putting viruses into here, I would hold off two weeks before reusing something like this. And like I said, unfortunately, I am now officially sold out of 3M, Honeywell, Mestel safety masks. We still may have some Mira safety masks coming in. Keep my fingers crossed. Uh, you can still get them from the Mesto website. I'll post a link in the description if you want those. But uh, it's slim pickings. And you know what? I seen N95 masks in the store today at Home Depot in Saskatoon. And I was like, holy hell, these aren't going to last too long. They were selling for about five bucks a pop, which at times like these is not that bad considering some people are selling them on Amazon for 50 bucks a mask, which is ridiculous. You know, go watch my video on how to make your own uh, mask, particle mask, and, you know, try to, you know, improvise something before you pay 50 bucks a mask. It's just not worth it. You're better off getting one of these for four times that price. So anyways, guys, stay safe out there. And don't worry, I'm going to rant and rave in a speculative fashion. Once again, I've just been crazy busy. I'm trying to get everybody their stuff uh, before the whole postal system shuts down. Anyways, guys, stay safe, watch your hands, and remember, right now we're at a point where it's gonna go from zero to 100 before you can even blink. So this is the time to be as vigilant as possible. We, we throw that word around a lot in the preparedness community, but this is it. This is the time when you need to be at the ready 24 seven. Thanks for watching guys, Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com. Your one-stop shop for premium, high-quality, brand-name products that have been tried and tested by myself and other YouTube gear reviewers. My subscribers save 10% off by using the coupon code SURVIVALPREPPER. All one word, in all caps. Enjoy the time you have with your family, but stay ready.